My name is Quentin Snedeker, and I'm director of the Henry B. DuPont Preservation Shipyard at Mystic Seaport. The project uh, to rebuild the Charles Morgan has been uh, on our plate for quite some time. We knew in the mid-90s that uh, we were facing a major rebuild, and all wooden ships generally uh, require major work on a cyclic basis. Part of the beauty of a wooden ship is it can continually be rebuilt as long as it has viability in its culture, whether it be an operating vessel or, uh, in this case, a cultural icon. And, uh, we began by hauling the boat in early November, and uh, we're now in the preliminary phases of preparing to dismantle the deteriorated elements of the vessel and replace them in kind with uh, a live oak, longleaf pine, and uh, other materials that were used in the 19th century construction. Well, in order to make the boat ready to haul out, uh, because we're going to be working on a lot of the bottom sections, we had to make her as light as we could. We also are going to be doing some work to the rig, uh, repairing and replacing some of the spars. So we started by removing all of the rigging. Uh, this is probably the most de-rigged she has been since she's been at Mystic Seaport. She's had various masts taken out at various times, but I don't think she's ever had all her masts out at the same time and no rig on her at all, uh, including the bowsprit. The bowsprit's come out because that was one of the major elements that needs to be replaced. Additional to that, we removed all the whale boats that are usually part of her display and used in demonstrations. We removed many of the uh, features of movable deck equipment that are featured on the vessel as part of her interpretation as a whaling ship. Uh, that's all been removed. And every bit of ballast, uh, she had about 50 tons of ballast in the vessel. All of that has been removed too because that was stored or placed atop much of the wood that needs to be replaced. So uh, she is as light as she's ever been. To be technical about it, when she's in the water, fully rigged on display with her equipment, she displaces or weighs about 340 tons. Right now, we've got her down around uh, 285. So there's been a lot of weight has come off that ship. One of the things that we have to realize is this isn't just an individual effort on the part of the museum. While we have you know, dedicated crew working on the ship physically, there's a tremendous amount of support that lies behind the scenes. We have staff working on interpretive programs and exhibits that will help visitors understand the work that we're doing. We have ongoing fundraising to continue to support the activity. It's very expensive to do this work, far more expensive than original construction. Restoration is always that way, even in buildings. So we have a continual uh, staff who are continuing to raise funds for the project. And uh, we have a uh, public relations team that are continuing to try and keep the project before the public eye. And of course, uh, much like this interview, we're recording on film uh, and video all the interesting aspects of the project. So all of this goes on in addition to the physical work, making this a, a really large project, taking a, a tremendous amount of museum resources. But she is our most important artifact, literally an icon in the world of maritime preservation and is deserving of all of this attention and effort.